Let's sketch one cycle of the graph y equals sine 2x using the five major points, which are top, bottom, left, right side of that unit circle. So let me get some ordered pairs using the unit circle. So the right side we have zero radians, at the top is pi over 2, left side is pi, the bottom is 3 pi over 2, and then back where you started at 2 pi. So the first thing I'll do is multiply each of these inputs by 2. So we would have the sine of 2 times 0, which is just 0. Then 2 times pi over 2, the 2's would cancel, so this is sine of pi. Sine of 2 pi. Again, the 2's are going to cancel, so sine of 3 pi. And then sine of 4 pi. So we're looking at all the multiples of pi, so on the unit circle, starting at the right side at 0, the sine is 0. At pi, the sine is 0. At 2 pi, the sine is 0. It's just going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So all of these are going to be 0. Okay, so let's draw what this is going to look like, starting with the x-axis. And since we're starting at 0, I'll put the y-axis on the far left. Okay, so marking out each of these x values, we started at 0 and then we ended at 2 pi. So then half of that would be pi. And then the other halves are pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. At each of these, we got 0. Okay, so that's not really telling us much, but if we remember that the sine function has a certain pattern that starts at an x-intercept, and then it goes up to a max, back down to an x-intercept, still going down to a min, and then ending at an x-intercept, <clears throat> we can actually fill in the blanks here. So between the first two x-intercepts, halfway between that, which would be pi over 4, is going to be our max. Now looking back at the original function, in front of the sine 2x there's a 1, so the amplitude is 1. Okay, so between these two x-intercepts we need to mark out where 1 would be. Pi is about 3.14-ish, so pi over 2 would be about 1 and a half. So that's 1 and a half. So 1 is about Maybe there. Okay, so at pi over 4, we're going to get our max back to the next intercept. So then between pi over 2 and pi, that's going to be our min back to the next intercept. Okay, so this is one cycle. If I were to continue this again, we would have our second cycle. So what I want to do is look at just y equals sine of x, see how these compare. So this was y equals, y equals sine 2x. So y equals sine x. At pi over 2, we had our max. At pi, we had the x-intercept. And then at 3 pi over 2, we had our min back to an x-intercept. Okay, so notice that the height is still the same, the amplitude is 1, but the cycle got compressed to be half of what it was. So y equals sine 2x compressed horizontally, y equals sine x, if you look at it, half of it, so by 1 half. So the period for our cycle of y equals sine 2x is only pi. So this is one cycle with a period of pi, because after pi everything will start repeating. 
So the period got cut in half. So what we can say in general is if we have y is equal to, let's put the a in front of there, sine bx. The amplitude deals with the a. Now keep in mind if this is negative, it's just going to flip over the x-axis. So let me put an absolute value on there. And then the period, whatever b is, in this case was 2, is going to be whatever that was divided by 2. So in other words, it's going to be the original period, which is 2 pi, divided by whatever b is, unless again like that positive. So that's going to be our new period for a equals sine bx.